Hey, so me and Andrew was talking, and Andrew had a bunch of valves to grind, <clears throat> and a lot of times, um, audibly, you can hear that there's run out in the face, the, the 45 uh, surface, when it touches the grinding wheel. And so we always, you know, like, is there trash in the chuck? Is the 45 really out? You know, what's the deal? And we always want to make sure that we're, uh, you know, that the, that the, the ceiling face is concentric with the stem. And so uh, when I come in, he was grinding some stuff and, you know, he wasn't sure and he wanted, to, wanted me to check it. So the way to like just know that it's good and there is no issue is, <clears throat> you know, we got a, you know, everything's clean. We got a valve in the chuck and we got the indicator on the stem of the valve. And so, yeah, I mean, it's sitting dead on the stem. And, you know, I got it roughly zeroed. So we'll just turn the chuck on and you can see that I mean, literally, it's it's wiggling maybe two tenths. So that I mean, to me, that's that's just insane that it's that good. And this I bought this machine new uh, when I was like three years old. So it's it's old now. It's old. I, I really I think I got it. I'm trying to remember. I guess I was about. 25 maybe so, somewhere in there I don't remember so this thing is 20 at least 25 years old and it's ground you know I can't count how many valves this ground and but one thing that we do and most people convert these things to uh, like a ER 32 chuck the thing that sucks about that is you don't have quick release and like normally when we do stuff we do a bunch of it at one time. So we might grind five or eight sets of valves at one time. We're going to deck three or four or five blocks at one time. <clears throat> so we try to group stuff together. We just got so much of it to do. And the quick release chuck just makes it so much faster. And over time, if you don't keep the, the chuck clean, because obviously you're grinding and crap gets in the chuck, and so usually every couple of sets of valves, I take the whole chuck apart, clean it up. And the same thing will happen with an ER32. So there's no difference and there's no real maintenance difference. It's just the fact that with an ER32, you know, they kind of swedge. So when you crack it loose, I mean, you have to take a wrench, put it on there, crack it loose. And then you have to break the collet from the seat. And then you can pull the valve out, put another valve in, tighten it back up, and it just takes a long time. So if you can maintain accuracy with a with a quick release chuck, and I'll show you how that works. You know, this thing, the 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 the, the chuck moves here to to tighten or loosen the balls, you know, because it's just a taper. So we can just pull this handle back and just slide this valve in and out, put it and let go and, and it's there. So as long as I can make this system repeatable and accurate, this is the best thing since sliced bread to me. Eventually, I'm sure one day we're going to have to, because I mean, Sue is out of business. I, I mean, you can buy some parts, but uh, but ultimately, you know, we're going to end up having to go to an ER32 chuck or, or make a system to put an ER32 in it. And, you know, I dread that day, but the, the moral of the story is I just thought that was something because I know a lot of other people have grinders like this that work this way. And I think it's a wonderful system, but you just got to keep it clean. Uh, and like I say, we just, we pulled the, the chuck head off and, you know, pull the balls out, clean everything up with mineral spirits and just make sure there's no crap in the taper, you know. And, and I've had really good success. I, I, don't, I don't generally have any problems. I mean, and, and usually you'll know <clears throat> because it'll, you know, it'll audibly sound like it's got run out. And as soon as I hear something, you know, we just disassemble it, clean it. But, uh, but like I say, I just, that's just a FYI 
because I know a lot of other people that's got shops that may be, you know, in in their uh, beginning years, you know, they, they don't know all of this stuff. So we just try to pass along what we can. But anyway, I thought that might be a, a, a little nugget worth something. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.